This audio reading is released for the sake of education and entertainment, an enjoyable treat to people who love to investigate the truth and to find reasons to numerous dueling ideas in our time. My name is Jessica, and week by week, I'll be reading a blog of Mr. Controversy Extraordinary, Brother Ellie Soriano. This is a voluntary reading with no intention to monetize. You can visit his website at www.controversyextraordinary.com. Without wasting another second, let's dive into the world of controversies, written by the one and only, our dear brother Ellie. The Bible Warns Against Pastors Who Misled People Published January 30, 2021 It is a fact that not all preachers are gifted with biblical understanding. Many of them just pretend to be of God. Actually, you can easily recognize them because not only is their ignorance of the Bible very obvious, but they also preach things that they themselves do not understand. As it is written in 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7 in King James Version, Desiring to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say, nor whereof they affirm. They desire to be preachers or teachers of the law, despite the fact that they have no understanding of the Bible. Just like the ministers of the Iglesia Ni Cristo of Manalo, or INCM. Allow me to cite a portion of an article published in the Pasugo, the official publication of the INCM, for me to show you that their ministers, including Manalo himself, do not understand the Bible and do not know what they are talking about. Pasugo, September 1976, Pahina 26. Sa Roma 16, 16 ay ganito ang mababasa. Mangagbatian kayo ng banal na halik. Binabati kayo ng lahat ng mga iglesia ni Kristo. Ang pangalang Iglesia ni Kristo, ang pangalang opisyal sapagkat ito ang ipinagutos na ipangbati sa lahat. Hindi ito katawagang panglahi o pangpook o pang isang katangian lamang, kundi ito'y tumutukoy sa lahat. Ito'y tumutukoy rin sa kalagayan. In Romans chapter 16 verse 16 it says, Salute one another with an holy kiss. The churches of Christ salute you. The name Iglesia Ni Cristo is the official name because it is the salutation that all are commanded to use in greeting one another. It is not a name of a race or a place, nor does it pertain to an individual characteristic, but it refers to all. It also refers to a condition or a state. This article proves how the INCM had grossly misunderstood and misinterpreted Romans chapter 16 verse 16. Very clearly, the verse commands the brethren to salute one another with the holy kiss. It is with the holy kiss that the brethren in the church should greet each other. But in the INCM's interpretation, it is with the name of their church, Iglesia Ni Cristo, that they should salute or greet each other. What is stupidity? It doesn't make any sense. If we are going to consider the epistles written by the apostles, brethren in the church, like the brethren in Corinth, were given the admonition to salute one another with a holy kiss. 1 Corinthians Chapter 16, verse 20, in King James Version says, All the brethren greet you. Greet ye one another with an holy kiss. Actually, not only the brethren in Rome and in Corinth were commanded to greet one another with a holy kiss. The brethren in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia 
were also given this same instruction by the Apostle Peter. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 1 in King James Version says, Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the strangers is scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. The brethren in those places were scattered because they experienced severe persecution. So the Apostle Peter sent them a letter wherein he told them to greet one another with a kiss of charity or a holy kiss. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 14 in King James Version says, Greet ye one another with a kiss of charity. Peace be with you all that are in Christ Jesus. Amen. The Thessalonians also received a similar instruction from the Apostle Paul. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 26 in King James Version says, Greet all the brethren with an holy kiss. It's just weird that only the INCM salute their brethren with the name Iglesia Ni Cristo instead of a holy kiss. Clear proof that they do not understand the Bible. How about the holy kiss? What is the INCM's interpretation of the holy kiss according to their ministers? Ngayon, tungkol po sa tanong nyo kanina, ito yung paliwanag ng mga nagsisipagsuri uh, yung ka, nung kahulugan ng banal na halik. Opo. Ito po, sa pagkakaliwat na po sa ating wika, mula po sa weekly Bible commentary sa page 1,225. Ano mang nasa makabagong mga kultura ang lumalarawan sa malalim na pagmamahalan na dapat madama ng mga Kristiyano sa isa't isa. Isang halik sa pisngi. Isang mainit na pakikipagkamay, ang paghahawak ng dalawang kamay, at iba pa, ito ang katumbas ng iniutos ng mga apostol. Ito yung bunga ng pagsusuri ng mga nag-aaral po sa Biblia, kapatid mm -hmm. na Michael, tungkol po sa Roma 16, ang mm -hmm. ating stand na yung banal na halik, paraan po ng pagbati mm -hmm. doon po sa mga bansa na yung beso-beso. Tama yun eh, wala nang masama doon. At mm -hmm. ginagawa nga po sa, mga, sa loob ng Iglesia ni Cristo, may mga kaani po sa Iglesia, na yun ang ginagawa. Opo. Na ang isa namang katumbas nito, yung shake hand. Opo. Batay din po sa ating binasa. Yan ay katumbas ng itinuro ng mga apostol batay po sa komentaryong ito. Mm -hmm. Instead of coming up with their own interpretation of the holy kiss mentioned in Romans chapter 16 verse 16, the ministers of INCM referred to the explanation provided in the Wycliffe Bible commentary. Obviously, they have no explanation of their own which is why they used someone else's explanation. Ano mang nasa makabagong mga kultura, ang lumalarawan sa malalim na pagmamahalan na dapat madama ng mga Kristiyano sa isa't isa, isang halik sa pismi, isang mainit na pakikipagkamay, ang paghahawak ng dalawang kamay, at iba pa, ito ang katumbas ng iniutos ng mga apostol. Wycliffe Bible Commentary, pahina 1,225. Whatever in modern culture is symbolic of the deep affection which Christian ought to feel toward each other, a kiss on the cheek, a warm handshake, a grasping of both hands, and others, this is the equivalent of the apostolic command. According to them, their stand about the holy kiss, which they based on the book of the Protestants, is that it is a manner of greeting a person, and its present-day equivalent is a beso-beso, or a kiss on the cheek, or a handshake. They also admitted that this is what their brothers and sisters in their church practice. But following the line of argument that the name Iglesia Ni Cristo is the salutation by which their brethren ought to greet each other, my question is, when they shake hands or when they do a beso-beso or kiss each other on the cheek, do they salute one another with the name Iglesia Ni Cristo? Of course they don't. 
because they know in their hearts that doing so would make them look ridiculous. This only shows that the preachers of the INCM do not understand even their favorite verse, Romans chapter 16, verse 16, and they talk of things which they themselves do not understand. I repeat, God gives understanding to a preacher or pastor whose teachings come from God. He is sent by God to preach. According to Romans chapter 10 verse 15 in King James Version, And how shall they preach, except they be sent? Preachers who do not understand the Bible are not sent by God. Actually, there is another boastful preacher in Mindanao who claims that he is the Son of God and that he owns the souls of all men. Like the ministers of the INCM, this man also doesn't know what he is talking about, and the words that come out of his mouth are not in consonance with what the Holy Scriptures say. What gave him the guts to say that he owns all the souls of men? Biblically speaking, all the souls of men are owned by God and not by an ordinary human being like him. As it is written in Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 4 in King James Version, Behold, all souls are mine. As the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sin it, it shall die. My appeal to all is please, do not let yourselves be deceived by this kind of preachers. They are not sent by God. They will only lead you to perdition. May God guide and bless us all. Thank you for listening. Join me again next time to another debatable and intriguing article written and intelligently analyzed by Mr. Controversy X. Always keep in mind that wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. May the peace of God be upon us all.